we haven't even hit the peak of this crisis yet and hospitals are already overwhelmed. So what's the plan? We need an answer. As the province's largest facility to treat cancer patients in Montreal, here at the Jewish General Hospital makes room for COVID-19 patients. Those waiting for surgery or cancer treatment now have to wait. But cancer patients say they do not want to become forgotten during the pandemic. It's a very scary time for everybody, but especially with somebody who has chronic illness or is recently being diagnosed. It's a very scary time to be diagnosed with something so serious and you don't know what the future holds in terms of your treatments and your surgeries. Natasha Diaz was diagnosed with stage three cancer at 30 years old right after giving birth to her second child in October 2018. After undergoing chemotherapy in 2019, she had a double mastectomy and is currently participating in an immunotherapy experimental trial in a private clinic. And although she's grateful to have finished chemotherapy, she's created the hashtag Les Oubliés de la Crise or the Forgotten Ones because many are living in fear of seeing their disease progress during the COVID-19 crisis. So Les Oubliés is really um, don't forget these people who don't necessarily have a voice at the moment and who can't necessarily stand up for themselves at the moment because they are literally fighting for their lives. Although April is Cancer Awareness Month, the Canadian Cancer Society says they have seen an increase in calls from patients questioning how they can protect themselves from COVID-19. André Beaulieu says you simply cannot put cancer on hold. It is the leading cause of death in this country and 55,000 Quebecers each year are being told they have have cancer so you can imagine that you know we can what we want to make sure also is not to create a backlog at one point that there will be too many cancer treatments to be done all together that's why natasha is hoping her hashtag will raise everyone including the health minister's awareness of the situation yes this covid19 virus is very serious and has to be dealt with seriously but we can't forget those who are already fighting for their lives. In Montreal, Melina Jubilaro, City News.